Hi guys, it's Nathan here, and <clears throat> a while back I made a video about lost wax casting, uh, and I made a little statue type thing, and that video did pretty well, so I'm going to try a similar thing today again, and what I have here is a little piece of foam. Um, I'm going to try to do lost foam casting, so yeah. Lost foam casting is pretty much the same, except for you don't have to burn the foam out of the mold, and uh, you use sand or something similar to that. You could use plaster too, but it's really easy just to use like sand. You can stick it in there, and then you pour your metal in, and it burns out the foam, and it stays in place, and it works well, so that's how that works. <clears throat> so yeah. First thing to do here is I'm going to attach a tube, a vent tube thing, I don't know, or uh, whatever it's called, this thing. I'm just going to put some glue on this and apply this here like that. That way I can pour it in through here. Oops. There, and now that's ready. And I'll go take it outside and melt it. All right, I have some sand here in this can, and so I guess I'll just stick this in here, like this, okay? And I'll bury it. All good. Let's kind of. I'll put a little more in. Oops. To make sure it'll go in there, I'll kind of pat the edges down like this. All right. All right, now I'll melt some zinc in this can, and then I'll pour it in there. I have a piece that I uh, just melted just a second ago. So, oops. Here's that piece. Oops. You can see it's shiny. Pretty cool looking. Has a bunch of bubbles in it. I'll stick that in there. That'd probably be enough, but I'll put in a little more too. I also have this coin that I was trying to make. It didn't really work too well. Though. So that's in the can. Now, let's melt it. It shouldn't take that long. So I'll turn on this torch. I'll turn it on. There it goes. Just kind of set this. Position this in there. There, and that should take a couple seconds to melt. So we'll be back. I don't know if you can see this very well on the camera, but you can see there's... There's a... There's some fumes coming out here. Probably can't tell very well in here, but uh, they're kind of whitish blue, bluish grayish, white. I don't know. Uh, those are zinc oxide fumes, and you don't really want to breathe those in. But I'm outside, so it's probably okay. So I'll just set this there. Go. All right, everything looks fairly melted, so let's go over here and pour it. So yeah, here goes. Uh, that did not work very well. This wasn't melted all the way. Here, let me try to salvage this. And I lost my tube halfway down. Well, it is melting the foam, so that's good. Huh. Let's try to dig this out. Hmm, some of it got in. Uh, I don't have any foam out here. So I guess I'll just sort of leave the top exposed. There, like that. Actually, there's sand. 
All right, looks like this is pretty melted again. Oh, hang it, hang it out. Here, I have another one to light it. There we go. What is going on? Alright, you can see it's pretty melted. And I'm just going to run it for a couple more seconds to get it all heated up. And then I'll pour it into, you see I, I just sort of left the top sticking out. Oh, this is just kind of a test to see if it'll work or not. Alright, let's pour. Uh, I ran out. <laughs> this is gonna look really weird. Oops. There's a bunch of slag in here. Oh, I could have used this. Oh, maybe not. Right, so. Yeah, it's gonna have a big bubble in it, but let's see. Looks like the whole thing is here. Still has some sand stuck on it but it has, is pretty much what it's supposed to look like and it's kind of huh interesting so yeah there's that And I'll clean it up and I'll be right back. So here's the uh, result. It did work, you can see. It didn't come out as good as I had hoped it would. But I don't know what you're going to do. It is pretty interesting. Um, has a couple big bubbles in it. This is from when the foam... I melted into it, but yeah. I am planning to do another video about this in the future, so you can look forward to that. And uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time.